Park Lane Worldwide. It's your guy, Tom. Welcome to your News at Noon Week 10, 7th of March. I want to tell you that in April, we're going to start the News at Noon with either a joke, a short ancillary story, or a magic trick. This is for all of our fans who watch the News at Noon who aren't stylists. You know, husbands, kids, dogs, um, a number of pets like the News at Noon. Ha! <laughs> it must be me. What does that say about me? QR code. I've got to tell you, I'm going to stop doing a commercial on this, but I was in a location in the last couple days where everything that happened, I had to shoot a QR code. That was the only way they'd give you information you could access. It is the way, whether it's your website, whether it's a cart order, with a QR code generator, and they're free or minimal, you can do any information you want people to look at and just put it on a QR code. Last commercial this week about that. The token deal of the day is extended one final day. Actually, if you look at the print on the bottom here, it's through March 10th while supplies last. This one came up on the website and even my wife said, I like that. Those are, I want that. I'm like, it's $7 with the purchase. What a great offer, deal of the day while supplies last. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it today. It's a great one. Lucky Bracelet is our consistency award in the month of March. 500 each week. A number of you are tracking towards that for the four weeks. This amazing piece is yours. And then 1,500 these first two weeks, almost all of our top 10 have qualified already for this. You were in a drawing, 17 drawings on St. Patrick's Day when we're in Paris for some amazing, amazing gifts. 1,500 first two weeks. Now, how do you help with that? It's a star drop, it's the bronze. Mini impressions bracelet, ooh, look at that. 35 with a qualifying purchase of 40, and that qualifying purchase could be the bronze mini impression set. Necklace and earrings, I saw in the Canadian market it's 56. Check your market accordingly, but again, a two carat solitaire and those earrings. Fabulous, fabulous order, and then attach that style drop. So awesome. Check your, always in your back, I always do that every, every uh, Thursday. I go and check the back office for the current style drops. All those that are still listed, great place to look at great add-on values you can give your customers. St. Thomas is, we've got three full months left in this contest, March, April, and May, and so many of us next spring break, spring for the north, fall break for Australia, we'll be enjoying St. Thomas in the Caribbean. I can't wait. You've got a double bonus at 60. So with a 60 qualifying purchase, they could take two bonus items up to 200 for 30. Australia, it's any two items for 40. And you've got double thank you gifts for a qualifying show. We're going to talk about that in our One Minute Moments That Matter today. Shows. You've got the fabulous Stellar Necklace. This is an incredible piece. I mean, it take you know, crystals and gold, large chunk chain. What a fabulous combination of hot styles. And it's yours for just 2000 or more in the month. Great benefit of International Rich Rewards Club. Most all that is in your Style Boss News. It's down the left-hand column of your field interface. Down near the bottom, you can access every month. And this month is a four-week commission month. We count our Wednesdays. We just finished last week. Or March is a four-week commission month. We just finished week one yesterday. Three more weeks. Remember those first two weeks for the big drawing. And that must mean it's time for recognition. We recognize week one, what came in yesterday, March the 6th. It took at least 1100 to get in our top 10. Number one, over $3,100 this week. Here we go. Number 10 from Park Lane, Mexico, Nertha Velasquez. Number nine from Enduring Elegance in Canada, Teresa Sankovic. Number eight. From Australia, the Park Lane Rebels, Rebel Whale. Number seven. From Australia, the Park Lane Rebels, Wendy Jabney. Number six. From the UK and the Park Lane Stars, Ann Griffiths. Number five. From Australia, actually Tasmania, which is part of Australia, and Gorgeous Gems. I love this profile picture, too. Karen Darling, number four, from Canada, another style queen, and enduring elegance, Aisha Hathaway. 
Number three from Canada and Blue Sky Sales, Pam Waterston. Number two from Enduring Elegance in Canada at $2,300, Branch Director, Nancy Blake. And number one this week at over $3,100 from Australia and the Park Lane Rebels, congratulations, Rain Cook. Rain, fabulous to see you in the top 10, especially number one. Congratulations. And that takes us to our one minute moments that matter. And this week we start our series on how to decide what is best, live or virtual. Now, actually, when we look at live versus virtual shows and how to decide what's best, it's not necessarily what's best for us, but what's best for our new potential hostess because we have lots of new tools in our tool belt with all the skills we've learned from virtual. But if you're a, a husband or a child of our stylist not involved in the business, these are remedial definitions. A live event happens in person with attendees coming together in one physical space, a home, an apartment, a flat, a boat club, a pub, any number of places they happen. And virtual events take place online on the computer with participants logging in from all over in the case of our internationals, all over your country. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of these two sales methods? Well, when we look at live shows, live advantages are live events allow attendees to build meaningful connections and are far more personal. Hey, this is my wheelhouse. This is how the first 34 years of my career, I was all about live in-person events. Live events also provide you with a platform to showcase products, and your services to a live audience. This is particularly useful for products requiring product demonstrations like ours. As well as we stage things virtually, nothing makes a product come to life like putting a necklace on somebody or a bracelet on their wrist. And third, in-person events provide an immersive and interactive experience that really is difficult to replicate in a virtual environment. People really get to engage and hug and talk and have you know, drinks together. Now, what are the disadvantages of live? Well, this is the big one, and this is the big one that you know we've seen the explosion in the U.S. as a result of. Attendance is limited to those in a specific area. If you're having a show in Northampton, you can really generally only have people around there. Physical events tend to generate less data than virtual events, as they usually only collect registration data, meaning Live events, they usually fill out their order form. When you think of virtually, we get a lot of stuff. We get interaction from them. They register. We can look at their Facebook page. We can find out about them. You can go home and do that after live, but you don't get as much data quite. And live events are typically more expensive, not far more, but more expensive than virtual events. You gotta, in some instances, you got to clean your house. You got to have refreshments. You have everybody over and, and I always knew that when a hostess put out a big spread of food, all the other guests at that show were looking at all that that she'd invested and said, I have to do that to have a park lane get together. So it can be in some instances a disadvantage. Now let's go to virtual. Virtual advantages, the cost effectiveness for both you, you don't have to drive, do anything. It's also very green. It's a virtual event is carbon neutral generally because nobody's having to travel, do anything, create anything. Virtual event platforms enable features like live streaming, real-time messaging, on-demand content, which can enhance, really make better, the event experience for attendees. You can really conversation with them in real time. And virtual events offer targeting specific audiences and achieving event goals. More accessible for attendees who may not be able to attend a physical event due to distance or other limitations. Now, we all agree with that on virtual advantages. What are the disadvantages? Number one, lack of face-to-face -face interactions. We see each other, but it's just in that screen and it's just a little bit of what's happening with those people's lives. Second, replicating the event experience in a virtual environment can, can be, well, you all relate to this if you were around in 2020 when we started, can be challenging, especially for events that rely heavily on physical elements, such as trade shows or project, product demonstrations. Some ch challenges also in adopting the new technology and developing new skills to manage virtual events effectively. We talked about this a couple weeks ago with what Meta is doing for live posting events. 
They may also need to find creative ways to engage attendees, maintain their attention throughout the event, and address technical issues that may arise during the event. We've all had that, a live go off or something like that. So what does that mean? Well, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to talk about creating like an action plan to really actively have virtual or live become part of the menu that we offer people. But if you've ever seen me before for my, in, through my entire career and, you know, as a top personal seller for many years at the very start, I learned how to close. I learned how to book because that was the most important thing I needed to do. And I learned how to close. I never asked yes or no questions. And my close was always... Sue, thinking of your friends and the people you'd invite, do you think a night during the week or a weekend would be better for your event? Well, that's changed a little bit. And my close now becomes, thinking of your friends and the people you'll invite, do you think an exciting live in-person show would be best? Or would your friends better enjoy the convenience of a virtual online park lane get-together? It's not asking a yes or no question. It's expanding and showing our tool belt that we have several different options to offer. And hopefully as we go through the next couple of weeks and you create that action plan, this could be a close that can help you book way more shows, whether they be live or virtual. Hey, get more content at, at Tom Park Lane on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Thanks for watching this week's News at Noon.